Hello and welcome back to another episode of SimCity. We have a little bit of a crisis to deal with in the beginning of this episode. We need more power and in the previous one I talked about being careful with our budget so we are just going to add one more for now. However with the rate that our city is expanding I think it won't be long before we have to build another one but we don't want to spend too much money straight away. Um, so I will plop down that sign it only costs 200. And so yes this city is coming along really well. Um, let's check out the approval rating. It's probably dropped it hasn't I was thinking the power outage might have helped with that and um, it looks like we need to get more health care again <laughs> oh no that just all changed I didn't like that kids couldn't go to school we do need a bigger educational facility it seems although this thing is maxed out um, so anyway let's upgrade our health service that's always going to be good Let's do this right now. Okay, we're going to add an extra clinic because that's all we can really add at the moment. And we are treating how many per day? Treatment capacity 55. Um, so I think the problem is actually ambulances, not space. Probably not getting to enough people. But I'd really like to have a hospital in the region because then you can put down wellness centres and that makes all the difference. That really does. Uh, but look at this. The density of our city is coming along really well now. This is looking good. Okay, so what do we want to have a look at? Yeah, look, I think they're going to ask for Department of Health. We need a clinic or a hospital. Okay, um, do we want to build another clinic? Maybe we could shut down those extra rooms until we need it later on. Okay, it looks like we... Actually, all we have to do is treat five more sick patients. Okay, why don't we leave it and see what happens if we don't, because they're going to get treated at some point anyway by the service that we have in place. So let's have a look at this. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually build... No, we can't build an extra department yet, which is a little disappointing. Maybe someone else in the region has put one up. Um, nope, so we don't have a department of health or fire. Actually, I think that comes under utilities. Uh, so it looks like I'm the only person to have built one so far. Uh, we can now build a high school, though. Is that worth doing yet? And also a community college. Now I think I found out that the community <laughs> the community college isn't a necessary part. Um, you go from high school straight to university is what I've been told. And this is more like an optional thing, like the library. So um, we're not going to build one of those. We're just going to build a high school, I think. And why not just put it opposite here or maybe next to it? This space might be useful for something else. So if we can fit it in here, I think that's going to be a good space right there and now we have a high school so like before let's make sure all of our students can get to school and put down some buses and we want one more and now it is probably really going to start to be eating into our budget yeah you can see here we were at 14,000 a while ago and now we're dropping down to seven so we really need to work on getting the density of these up faster so I think we should upgrade all of these roads to the max which is really going to eat in to our money supply. Okay, no, I have to click that first, of course. High density street, there we go, that is the highest one. And how much is that costing? 3,000 each time, so that's not so bad actually, it was 6,000 before. Unless I'm misreading it and it's actually 30,000, that would be disastrous. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Let's get all of this done. We have a little notification on the side to read as well. And look, some of these buildings are popping up straight away. Right as I'm upgrading the roads, that's good to see. The more residents, the better. Although the cost of having more residents in high density goes up as well in terms of power and other things. <laughs> so let's have a look. Yep, we're running close again. It's time to upgrade this. I had a feeling that would happen quite quickly. There we go. And let's extend that dirt road as well. This area here is reserved for power and uh, maybe we can destroy some of this road as well and then have some more going off to the side there okay buying water from neighbors um nah <laughs> i don't want to learn how to do that i think i already know um let's have a look so how is our water doing yep we are slightly under so we need another water tower um i've got a feeling actually we will need to buy from our neighbours because we do not have a lot of water in this region. And um, what we're going to do is build a little dirt path that goes down here, like that. And then we're going to plop our tower down 
in this watery area just here, so right there, right in the middle of it. And then at some point we're going to be replacing that with a water pumping station when we get a department of utilities, which is probably the one I'm going to get next when we hit that goal of 15,000. Didn't we have 10,000 here last episode? I'm sure we did. Um, it possibly could have peaked in the same month and gone back down again. Mm, who knows what's going on there. Things are looking good. It does look a little congested. I am a little worried about this layout. Really think I should have put all of this industrial area over there. Uh, but we can always change, you know. We can always move this industrial area slowly. We could zone off some areas down here, maybe in this area. I don't know what I'm going to do with that just yet. And, and then turn this all back into residential. That might be a good idea. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to take a little break here and just watch the city develop. Um, we have a lot of congestion over here, don't we? At our intersection. I don't think you can actually build another one. Uh, no, look, you can't even select over there, not even an avenue. So that is kind of worrying as well. Okay, being a mayor is about making decisions. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking... It's a real bad problem that we have our industrial area down the end here because all the traffic wants to go through the residential area which means these roads are being overused really for the kind of layout that they have. So I have made a decision and that is that we are going to move our industrial area down into this little square that we have here and so then the only way to get in there will be down this road here. And I think that is a good plan because it means all of the traffic that goes to the industrial area just comes straight through this road which can hold a lot more traffic overall and it's going to stop going through these ones here which will allow and hopefully allow all of our traffic from this region like the schools and the school buses to come around to this bit now having thought about that in advance maybe if I had moved those before I built the schools uh, we would put the schools down in that region and um, because then all the traffic would move through the residential roads and not through our main traffic line uh, but we can always move things. We could move the schools as well. It is an idea. And we have a problem here that needs dealing with. And we're going to have to extend that dirt road. I want to put this right in the corner. And put down another sewage outflow pipe. Now also I had a petition approved to build a university. And I thought you had to have... Um, well, the Department of Education. I thought there was another requirement to get one. Um, let's have a look. Education. Yeah, so... I don't know, <laughs> maybe we'll build that as well. But let's start off with the square down here. This should be fairly easy to lay out. When I looked at this last time, it put down some grid lines for me. Um, and there we go, that's how you do it. Right, so we want to go from around there over to there maybe. Okay, that does look a bit derpy. Oh, no. Oh, did I just place down a little circle of road? No, I don't think I did. Okay, that's cool. Right, so then we want to come down all the way down here. And man, that road looks weird. <laughs> and apparently I can't place a road there. That's kind of weird. Look at that, it just dips down. That is awful. Um, let's get rid of that. I've got a horrible feeling it might leave that bit of land like that. No, okay, it's not going to. Uh, maybe we shouldn't push it too far back into this region. In fact, if we put the road in front of that area, then the factories are going to be placed on the road behind it, so that would probably work out better. Okay. Right, so how do we want to do this grid? We want to maximise... Hmm. I think that's going to have... Yeah, let's put a road there and another one... Maybe right in the middle there. Will we be able to get two on either side? Probably not. Let's just zone off this area. In fact, we need a road to link up to it as well. Um, so let's bring down our avenue. Okay, that can go all the way. Let's just bring it to that bit for now. That's definitely going to be used. And then look at this from another angle. Okay, it can plop down like that. And then things get a bit awkward. So let's just go to that first spot. Maybe turn this way. That looks awful. Hmm. One site that looks good. Okay, that kind of works. And then can we go to the side? No, that looks awful. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this and try and figure it out. 
Okay, it's ugly, but this is the only way I could do it. I had to go around the corner like that. I tried just about everything I could with this. And you'll notice that I built this out of medium density avenue. That's because it's cheaper and I kept having to uh, destroy it after. So down here as well, I've had to remove one of these roads when I was trying to connect it. Let's just put that back. And so we are going to start off. Um, actually, do you know what we could build down here? Some mass transit. We can add a little station. Uh, but we don't, yeah, we can't do that just yet. And when you build these, they have a road attached to them already, which if we leave a little bit of space on the corner here, we're going to have to hook up to this road rather than just plopping it next to one. So that's where that will go. Um, so let's not put too much industrial next to it. But now we can zone these regions. We are going to put that down there. We're not going to do this just yet because it might turn out that we can... Um, fit buildings back to back in that size space so it makes sense to make this one smaller and then overall squeeze in a few extra buildings so let's make this bit here industrial as well and actually the other side of this will do very cool so we should start to see some trucks heading down this way uh, let's speed up the game a bit and by the way you can see I've got quite a bit of money some time has passed and wow look at that <laughs> the density increase is really happening at the moment so also we should unzone these areas down here because we no longer want this to be an industrial area we want to make this all residential which would be perfect for our commercial area as well because then it's going to have um, residential either side of it which is great and look at all these little bits that they leave <laughs> they leave behind do you know what? i should really do most of this like off camera because it's boring Okay, that's enough for now. <laughs> Let's see what's happening down here. Yep, some buildings are being built. And that is just a matter of time now to watch it expand and figure out. Do you know what? This doesn't look like we're going to get two buildings back to back. Actually, now that I zoom in, yeah, it looks quite possible that we could. be interesting to see. Okay, we have hit 15,000 residents. You can see I've also moved this road in the middle here. It won't connect up with the one on the other side. Um, but it will let me connect up over there if it's further this way. So I think we're just going to have to put it in the middle like that. Um, so we can get you know the maximum amount of buildings in that space. So hopefully that doesn't affect things too much. It should be okay. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh yes, um, I put down a couple extra, what are they called? <laughs> Garbage trucks as well. Um, let's take a look at how much of that we're dealing with. So we're in the green. We're getting almost every can in the city. That is fantastic. Um, I think we're making all the right decisions at the moment. My approval rating keeps going up to 80% and then back down to 79%. Um, so again, we need another clinic. And I've noticed that the area that you need it is in your industrial area as well. Let's have a look at this one right here. So our um, germ levels are all over here and this is where the sick people were before. So I think putting a clinic here would be a good idea. However, we're slowly moving it over to this area. So maybe somewhere around here we'll put a clinic as well at some point. So let's upgrade our town hall. There it is right there. Upgrade available. Yes please. <laughs> Some fireworks. That's very nice. Very cool. And now we get to build ourselves another department. Um, let's have a look. Yes we can build a department of finance, safety, tourism, transportation or utilities and it's quite likely that I'm going to go with utilities but this costs a lot of money 500 per hour and uh, we've been keeping a keen eye on that budget look it's back over 11,000 which is great uh, so we are doing really well in fact look at all the money I've amassed <laughs> that is awesome I really do feel like I've taken the knowledge I've learned playing this game so far and put it to use in this place um, and I haven't finished unzoning um, this area here and if you heard that little noise by the way that was my bottle of water I have a plastic bottle of water and every now and then it just makes that popping noise um, once it woke me up in the middle of the night it was really loud <laughs> it's just where the tension of the plastic uh, sort of comes undone at some point very strange little thing that is anyway enough babbling about my bottle of water uh, I'm going to continue keeping my eye over the city making sure this area progresses and it's quite likely that I'm going to build a medical facility down here as well so I've slowly been letting things develop and I've just noticed, look at the city now, the density is really kicking off, especially in the commercial area 
and I'm a little hesitant to remove any of the buildings on the industrial area here because it's quite large and this area is actually quite small if we look at it but maybe that's something I should do slowly just remove a couple of buildings at a time or something like that um, but here's something interesting I think I've only had to demolish one building uh, the whole time this city has been running and that was because it burned down I think yeah you can't demolish a building when it's on fire so I think it finished burning down and um, there's something I needed to do and that was to put more water into this city um, hmm we are running low it does seem although these areas haven't particularly gone down too much they haven't pumped up that much water I think there's just um, a demand for more you know coming in at once so let's put that down there there you go you can see we're just above but we're gonna need that Department of Utilities soon because we are gonna need to upgrade to a filtration pump I think is the one although we might struggle for water because there really isn't a lot in this region um, and that is the same for the other cities as well which would be a huge disappointment if that started becoming a big factor because oh our approval rating has dropped down four percent oh no <laughs> okay we still got the medical problem to deal with uh, I think the water just bumped it down a little bit there you can see let's have a look at the commercial got enough shoppers well I don't want to expand my commercial area anytime soon so hopefully when we convert that industrial area into residential that should solve that problem again water I think that just made a big difference there because I am playing on the fastest setting which means that you know these things happen really quickly let's just slow that down for a moment um, so we want a place to ship our freight well I think what we need for that is again the Department of Utilities so we can build uh, that little trading thing I forget what it's called um, and again water influenced that so hopefully that's sorted that out okay so I think what we really do need to do is just start removing some of these buildings over the back here as much as I hate to demolish other people's work um, what are these things right here these are just little like scrap yards and things it looks like <laughs> I wonder who owns them so we can select this but not that very strange how that works well, anyway, I think these buildings down the end are going to be the first to go. Very sorry. <laughs> Let's remove these two blocks. Actually, why don't we just do three? Really make some progress. Okay, that was the way it has to go down. And there's another site there, that thing. And these two as well. Weird, those little sites, didn't they? And that. <laughs> there's another one okay and now there goes my bottle again I'm sure you heard it that time it was quite loud um, yes we're gonna make this residential we don't want to go too close just yet um, and before we do this there was something else that I wanted to do just remembered let's zone all of that um, I wanted to check the land value okay so that's interesting and what about the hmm, what was the other one pollution can we check that from here? I don't think we can. Pollution map. There we go. Okay, so this area is still heavily polluted. Um, so before too many people move in, let's get some more trees down, because otherwise they are going to be quite upset with the quality of the land that they have there. And supposedly these trees will help remove pollution, so why don't we put one at the end of each intersection, or near enough thereabouts. Very cool. And we'll put one over there just as well. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll destroy that thing there as well. Okay, cool. So hopefully that will make a difference. And yeah, I think, again, we're just going to sit back for a little bit. I did notice that the water was orange for a second there. I'm not sure if it had been orange the whole time and just turned back. And we have a problem with mass transit again. I built some bus station stops down the bottom there as well to help out. Uh, so what is the problem now? The highway is getting clogged up. Build a department of transportation at City Hall and start building up mass transit. Um, what exactly is that? Does it mean by having a department my traffic's going to be not as bad? It is terrible. Oh, this layout just... Oh, it wasn't quite right because it wasn't quite the same as the one I had before. But let's hope that this makes a difference right here. Um, and I think it means we're going to have to put down more bus stops as well. More school bus stops for these people down the here down the end here even on left out let's have a look yep we are definitely going to need bus stops um, so let's put one on that side and then that side there 
Okay, there we go, and we'll add more as we go along. Um, these areas for the regular bus stops should be fine now that I think about it because we have workers down here. Yep, you can see we've got all the bus stops in place. Very cool. Um, so we want to expand this area down here so we can remove uh, more of this up here. And I've been thinking maybe what we can do, let's get out the zoning, is put them alongside these roads. Oh no. I was hoping we could put a plot right there. Maybe up the top here. Really not sure. Let's put down a small plot there. Another one here. Hope maybe we'll get a couple of extra buildings. And what are all these problems that they're having? Still needs workers. Well, I put in lots of bus stops. That should help get the workers over here. Oh god, we have a real crisis on our hands at the moment, don't we? I am quite unsure what to do at the moment about our problem. Uh, but these roads down here need upgrading to high density. Hopefully that will help with the traffic at least a tiny bit. And so what should we do? Well, I think I'm going to remove some more of this industrial area up here. Hopefully with less jobs in this area, maybe they'll move across to the other one. Um, but also, I think, you know, I think you can have a stable city with a largely in residential area because uh, the workers will commute. But I've been trying to find out how you see um, what workers you have that are commuting, but I couldn't really find it in here. You can find um, commuting in, but... Oh, it's right there, commuting out. <laughs> now I can see it. Okay, so we have 209 of 1,500 commuting out. Oh, no, actually, that's just one group of citizens isn't it there's 2500 in total interesting uh, so that is going to be hmm, an interesting figure to keep an eye on but anyway that is it for this episode as always thank you very much for watching and i will catch you in the next episode